you. Humanity's best weapon. Master Chief, huh? Pablo, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing, Rory? Really good, really good. Watching uh, Halo. Um, I've seen the trailer because obviously it came to America first and now it's coming to UK and Ireland, Paramount Plus this week. And watching you in this character, all I could do was make comparisons was to the likes of Dread or Robocop, where you have to do a lot of through the mask acting, which I can only imagine is, is kind of tough. Uh, and then even when the mask comes off, there's initially a lot of uh, unemotive acting, keeping everything very much below the surface. How difficult, like how difficult and how different is that for you? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, a lot of the performance for sure, especially in the first season, obviously, is, uh, is based on restraint, you know, holding, holding things back um, from a performance aspect. And, and then uh, a, a bunch of it is helmet suit acting, which has its own nuances and, you know, interesting uh, moments. Um, the one thing, one of the things that I learned about acting in a suit or acting behind a mask is, is how much, uh, how much everything, how much meaning everything takes on, you know, because you don't have the face to emote. Uh, so subtle body language takes on, uh, more flavor, uh, can create more meaning. Uh, and also what you get from the viewer as well. Like the viewer puts all of their own stuff on you in a much bigger way than when they can see your face because they don't have your face to react to. Um, so that's all interesting stuff to discover about, uh, about the intricacies of, of uh, suit acting. And uh, yeah, you know, one of, the, one of the real conversations of this first season is the, the conversation between John, uh, the human, and Master Chief, the warrior, right? And so there's a real um, line that delineates the two of them and uh, he hasn't had much exposure to uh, himself really in his emotional life uh, when we meet him at the beginning of the show and and that is the process of our first season is kind of deconstructing um, Master Chief the soldier and and learning a little bit about John the man watching as well like even from the first attack scene on the base I was picking up vibes of almost District 9 uh, and then throughout the show there's there's bits of there's bits of Star Wars obviously there's there's bits of Star Trek there's there's big sci-fi nods and influences were there any uh, conversations with the filmmakers or the writers of the kind of uh, cinematic or televisual touchstones that they wanted beyond, obviously, the game itself? Yeah, interesting. Uh, you know, Neil Blomkamp, who did District 9, was actually attached to an earlier version of, of Halo on the, on the feature side um, way back in the day. So that's interesting that you, that you picked up on some of that. I think they would be very well, Halo would be very well suited to him and he would be well suited to Halo. Um, for our production, Otto Bathurst was the director of the first two episodes, uh, great director. Um, and yeah, we talked a lot about influences, about different, different uh, color palettes, obviously, you know, how, where we, how we wanted it to look. Um, and I just, I just uh, I'm really happy. That's one of the things I'm the happiest about about the series is, is the visual look of it. You know, the visual effects are amazing. The, uh, the camera work is all amazing. I think it just looks really top notch. And I, I recently was uh, obviously doing um, research for this for this chat. I seen your uh, talk, I think it was with Men's Health, and obviously you have to do some pretty intense physical workouts for it to to reach the 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 body, I guess, of a man who is seen as being you know more than human, being the ultimate that a human can be. But <laughs> the thing that stood out for me the most was you must have been pretty sewn in tight into your Master Chief suit like it's it's molded it's made for your body exactly how difficult was it to exactly maintain that size because if you bulk up too much is that suit not going to fit if you lose a little bit of weight are you kind of <laughs> moving around too freely in there it was impossible and uh as the season went on i sort of gave up on it because there was so much fluctuation in weight i mean to be honest it's uh you know i was when we did scenes where I, I didn't have the suit on or I was showing a little bit of body or whatever, I would cut weight to, to be a little more ripped uh, and, and I would lose a lot of weight at that time. So my body wouldn't fit in the suit very well. And then in between, I was trying to keep some more weight on just to have size and the suit wouldn't fit that well at that time either. So I just basically gave up. It was, I was all over the place with weight, you know, it, it is what it is. It's, and also, you know, because the suit is so tight and so hot and we're shooting, you know, oftentimes in, uh, you know, hot weather or some summer weather, 
Um, I was, you know, losing five, six, seven, eight pounds a day, just sweating it out inside the suit. So uh, just, you know, eating a lot was uh, uh, incredibly necessary, eating and hydrating. Uh, but yeah, I gave up on trying to maintain the, the exact body type. It was, I just let the suit uh, get looser and tighter as, as my weight fluctuated. I have to talk to you about the, the sex scene or more specifically the reaction to the sex scene, because it's, it's so funny to me that this show right from the, right from the get-go is super violent and it has to be because it's this particular story. It's this game. People should be used to it. And yet there was just this very particular unique reaction to a single sex scene being involved. Like, what are, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts are that, uh, you know, we always knew that that um, it was going to be an interesting ride releasing Halo to the general public. There's there's uh, a lot of Halo fans and there's a lot of different opinions within the Halo community. And we always knew that there was going to be, uh, you know, a lot of noise outside. Um, and, you know, my job as an actor is to uh, bring to life the the vision of the showrunner and on season one the showrunner was Stephen King and it was my job to bring to life his vision for the show and I did my best for that and uh, you know we're, we're we're now shooting it's a little funny to be talking in the midst of uh, you know we're already up and running on season two and, and I'm in Budapest getting ready for it so it's uh, you know we're talking about season one now but I'm already you know well into process of season two and I'm working with this amazing showrunner David Wiener who's who's written the second season and I just love what he's creating and it feels um, really appropriate to the material and he's he's got a vision that I uh, I'm really happy to bring to the screen so at the end of the day that's my job you know I can't I don't make those decisions uh, other people do and it's my job to try to bring them to life as best as possible and just one last uh, question if that's okay season one ends no spoilers at all but it ends so perfectly with one of those god damn it cliffhangers where <laughs> you just so immediately want to have access to season two because you're like okay i need to know immediately what's going on there um but for a for a show like this there are two ways for it to go it could it could you know because the halo universe is so huge it could go on indefinitely or have the people behind the show, do they already in their mind kind of know, has there been any conversations about like, no, we know exactly where and when we might potentially want this to end. Like they already know how the arc of Master Chief and Halo is going to end when it comes to this particular adaptation. Um, no, you know, without, uh, without getting too far deep into spoilers as to, you know, what's, what's planned and, and what's, uh, what's ahead. Um, all I can say is that the second season is already well underway for, for we know where that's going and we know who's writing it. And I couldn't be more thrilled with, uh, with who's writing it and the material that's coming out. I'm, I'm delighted with the direction that we're heading and, uh, and happy to have a new captain and, and I'm pretty sure that he's gonna come up with some great stuff. Cortana, I'm gonna need you now. Find the halo, win the war.